Yeah. up guys and welcome back to the channel i know it's been a while since i posted anything i've been just kind of sitting around waiting for my heads to get back from mike so i did get one of them back here it's wrapped in plastic wrap he's got it completely ported so now i can go ahead and polish the runners inside of the head he is porting and polishing the other one i believe right now as we speak at the shop so by the time i get this one done i can take it back up there we can get the valves in them and then we can get them on the engine so <clears throat> Past that, all I have left to do, I need to get um, a AEM Infinity V2 ECU, as well as a harness made or pinned to run that ECU with this engine, and then we can get this thing running. I'm getting married in a few months, so I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on that stuff right now, so it might have to wait until after the wedding, but we'll see. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with that, so we'll see. Uh, outside of that, because I've been waiting on the heads, I haven't had a whole lot of stuff to do on, with the car. So I went ahead and worked on the little bar hangout area we've got going on out here. So got all of it sanded, painted, um, walls are looking really nice. Got the TV hung up out here, got the two couches out here, got the banner hung up there. My mom gave me from an old Indy car race when we used to go up there when I was young. And I've got uh, the four light fixtures up. I put them on a dimmer switch because they are super bright, but at night you can dim them down. We can watch TV and make it really nice out here. So um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this head unwrapped. I'll show you what they look like right now with them being just ported, no polishing on them. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get to polish and get this thing ready. All right, guys, so you can see here's the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the intake side of the head, you can see they have been ported, and they actually opened up a lot. Mike really put a lot of porting in there, and uh, they're going to flow so much better. It's going to sound like a whole different engine now. This one I've already port or polished, so you can see how smooth that looks compared to these. So this one's already ready to go. So now, I'm going to go ahead and polish up these two. Mike actually made this little tool for this. So we just took this little like quarter-inch piece of bar, or piece of metal rebar or something cut a little gash down the middle of that if you guys can see that so all i do is put a little piece of sandpaper in there put it on the drill and then just sand around i actually might use my dremel with a uh, sanding disc on it and see how that works i feel like that might work a little better and probably faster than using my drill in this but we'll go ahead and try it see what happens um one other thing i forgot to mention i did finally get the audi back it was gone I've now owned it for four weeks. They had it for just about two weeks. Um, they said that when I was at the bar that night when it stopped running, that um, they think somebody tried to steal it and because they didn't have the key fob, the ECU basically locked itself down. And then, so they had to send it to Audi to have them rewrite the ECU and then they put a new alternator in it and I got it back and uh, yeah, runs like new. So um, pretty stoked about that. I was uh, pretty beat up about it for a while because I've only had it for a week and then it, blew, it didn't blow up, but it broke down. So got it back now, everything's good to go and uh, couldn't be more stoked about it. So let's go ahead and get started on these heads, or I guess this one head and uh, yeah, get it all polished up. all right guys so i've <clears throat> got them all polished up now so you can see how nice and smooth everything looks in there it's not at all uh, gouged out like it was from the porting process so 
yeah they're all looking pretty good about ready to make some horsepower nice and smooth the air should flow through real nice on those guys the surfaces up here i've already done so yeah this head's basically done all right guys so i got the head i took the cam and everything out of it i put it in this bin i'm gonna go ahead and pour some purple power cleaner in here um <clears throat> diluted with water and then uh, that'll allow me to try to clean up all the metal shavings. That way it doesn't get into the cam bearings or anything like that because obviously that would not be good. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of that poured in here. We're going to swish it around and uh, try to clean all the nooks and crevices as good as I can because I don't want any of those metal shavings to get into the engine when everything's back together. So uh, yeah, I'm going to dilute it with some water, like I said, because I don't want to ruin any of the um, gas or the seal, like the uh, valve seals or anything like that. I don't know if it will, um, but I'm going to dilute it with water anyways just to be safe. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get these things cleaned up, or at least this one cleaned up, and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, got the head in there soaking. I'm going to let it soak for a few minutes, then I'm going to get it out and clean it up with a toothbrush a little bit. Um, but I, the main thing is making sure we get all the metal flake out of it. So uh, just soaking it like this should be doing a pretty good job of that. Oop, look at that toothbrush. We're doing a pretty good job of that. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll get down in all the nooks and crannies and everything like that and try to get all of it out that I can. Because um, again, I don't want any of that getting into my engine when it is ready to be fired up. So I'll go ahead and let this soak for a little bit just to help get some of the grease and dirt and crud off of it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll pull it out and get her all brushed up. All right, guys. So I have this little tiny plastic engine that I bought at Meyer that uh, I assembled. And we just had this crazy idea. We're gonna hook the drill up to it and see how fast we can get it going before it melts or explodes. So we're gonna take the motor off the back. The drill broke off again. But the pistons are going. Wait, is that? You're losing bearing material. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Do you really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it fell apart. What fell apart? The, the, the crank cover. Oh. <laughs> now we can't count. That was the slow speed. We need another mark. Oh, that doesn't even bolt it or screw in or nothing. That's why. Oh, we just, funny, we just need here. another mark on there. That way we can actually count. That was the slow speed. Oh, I feel it's shaking. Look at him ranking. Yeah, I'm like, careful. <laughs> <laughs> the belt broke off. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna put the belt back on. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I think the whole fan almost came off. <laughs> Dude, it was shaking a lot. I know. She was cranking. That was some RPM. <laughs> is now seized it turns out the bearings melted at such <laughs> high rpms and it no longer turns over so we found the max rpm for these engines i think we should hook the drill up to them one more one day so it turns out whatever that was was the max rpm because it smells like burning plastic now but performed very well we had to use a hair tie as the belt because the other belt was blowing off but it says it turns out these things can crank some power out <laughs> all right guys so we got the head all cleaned up looking real nice everything's good and polished everything is all clean it's still all taken apart um, like I said I'm not in really any rush to get it back together anytime soon um, I'm basically just waiting until after the wedding when I start having more money to spend on stuff like this plus Mike still has my other head so there's not really a whole lot I can do at the moment so um, I apologize that it's been so long since I have posted anything but I just haven't really been doing anything um, I'm kind of just waiting, planning a wedding and, you know, being really busy, but 
After that, uh, that's in September. After that, everything will be back to normal. We'll get this ball going on this car and hopefully get it on the street before uh, winter time rolls around. But anyways, guys, without any further ado, thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. We will see you next time.